It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Well, today I want to discuss Visual Edge IT. I want to do an update because I believe Aries Capital, the BD lender behind Visual Edge, is going to cause an event. The event they're going to cause is they're going to take the majority equity in the company, and I believe they're going to do that in this next quarter. On July 25th, Aries Capital will publish their second quarter numbers. I can't wait for that publication. I will go on Aries Capital's website. I'll pull down the 10Q, and I'll give you an update so we can see where the loan is at. You know the loan I'm talking about, the one that's been in non-accrual, and the first time we were made aware of it in non-accrual was on the third quarter 10Q. And ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is it takes 90 days to get a loan to go on non-accrual, so we're talking, what, over a year of a loan sitting in non-accrual. Not a good thing by any stretch of the imagination. So let's jump on the board here and I'll share my thoughts with you. We've all seen the updates. I'm sure most of you now have been on the Aries Capital's website and you pulled up all this information. You pulled up the 10Ks from 2021 and you pulled up the 10K from 2022. And you know that all the stuff I'm talking about not, is not fabricated and made up. It's all real factual information regarding Visual Edge IT. They got a loan and not accrual. They're a non-performing IT services company. When I say non-performing, they can't perform financially enough to be able to satisfy their debt. That's a reality. We'll see where they are in the 10Q in just a few short days. But ladies and gentlemen, you can go to Aries Capital's website. You can register so that when they publish any information, you can get this email like I got this email. And that email is telling me, hey, we're having our earnings call on July 25th. I'll be there for sure. But I also want to address this. We hear a lot of folks, well, not a lot of folks, but mainly the folks that maybe work at Visual Edge and they're running around talking about how Aries Capital is a $300 billion company is the number I heard. A $50 billion company is a number I heard. A $21 billion company is a number I heard. Aries Capital is a BD lender. Let me just read this. As of March 31st, 2023, Aries Capital Corporation portfolio had a fair value of approximately $21.1 billion and consisted of 466 portfolio companies backed by 218 different private equity sponsors. Aries Capital is a BD lender. Their portfolio had a fair value of $21.1 billion. You know how Aries Capital makes their money? Let me share that with you. The lender can't mark interest payment as income until the payment has been received. So Visual Edge, here's what you might want to be thinking about. How much have your owners lost from your existence in their portfolio? That's, that's, that's a bigger, more important question than running around telling everybody how big your owner's portfolio is. Because your existence in their portfolio is not really working out real well for them when you have loans and non-accrual. Let's talk about this equity thing. And, and folks, here's the, here's the reality. If you're, a, if you're in management at Visual Edge, you know, if you were promised equity in lieu of pay or you were going to get equity in lieu of a bonus and you decided that you would accept that, that deal after knowing that Visual Edge had a loan and non-accrual, I think that was kind of silly. And unfortunately, because the way our industry discusses topics like this, a lot of folks, they just have to believe the management, what the management says. Visual Edge decided to take money from a company called Aries Capital Corporation. And Aries Capital Corporation is a publicly traded company. That means the information, some of the information, but enough to get educated on, is public. And I urge all my friends, no matter whether you work at Visual Edge or any other company, don't agree to take any kind of equity position in lieu of a bonus or in lieu of pay unless you truly understand the financial position of the company. Because at the end of the day, you might get all excited about an equity position, but the day of the waterfall, the day that your private equity group decides to sell off Visual Edge, you might not get any money. And you got to learn how to do the math to make sure that you got a possibility to get the money. I'm going to share some math with you today. So ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that Aries is going to take a major, major chunk of equity. There's no doubt about it. You know, 70%, 75%, who knows? It's going to be a big, giant piece. They're going to leave some equity for the management. And they're going to leave some equity for those ex-dealers. Of course, those folks are going to have to split that piece of the pie amongst them. But I, I got to tell you something, folks. Before I would agree to this, because I would, I would imagine they have to get agreement from management, they have to get an agreement. 
from those ex-dealers that might still have equity. Before I'd agree to any of that, I, I think I would do a forensic audit on Visual X. Now, I would imagine if you're one of those ex-owners and you still have an equity position, you've been getting financials from Visual Edge since you left, I would hope. I mean, you're still an equity partner. You should be getting financials. But the reason that I'm saying you should do a forensic audit is simple because a while back I did an episode and I, and I talked about the, the, the rumor that I heard out there. And it was a pretty substantial rumor. It was verified to me by a couple of different sources. I asked Austin, the chairman and CEO of Visual Edge, to clarify it. He never did, so I'm assuming it was probably true. But the rumor was that they took $1.2 million in bonuses. The management of Visual Edge in the year 2022, so, and I was like, how in the world does management take $1.2 million in bonuses when they've got a loan and not accrual? And, and I think that's a valid question to ask. And at the end of the day, I, I, my concern would be what else is being pulled from above the line? If management has a thought in their mind that, hey, when this thing does sell Aries Capital, by the time they get compensated, there won't be anything left for any other equity partners. So we're going to take some money above the line. I'm not saying they're going to do that, but a forensic audit will definitely share with you if that's going on. And I strongly suggest you all do it. Because here's what I believe. There will be a waterfall event as soon as Aries Capital takes controlling equity. I believe that Aries Capital already has a buyer in mind. And at that waterfall event, I believe Aries Capital is going to keep the first two to three hundred million. And then whatever's after that, well, those other equity partners can get some. Unfortunately, does anybody, I don't believe it's going to go over three hundred million. Do you honestly believe that Visual Edge is going to sell for more than three hundred million dollars? Ladies and gentlemen, let me share some thoughts with you. When Austin was doing that interview with a guy with a hat, he talked about some pretty nutty things. I pulled that interview up. I did a whole episode on it. But he said in that interview that they were doing about $300 million in revenue, and I think he probably exaggerated a little bit. A lot of these folks do do that. But I'm thinking that Visual Edge IT, their revenue is between $235 and $285 million. Somewhere in there is the real number. But let's just give Austin the benefit of the doubt, and we'll say it's $300 million in revenues. If he had a 20% EBITDA, that equals 60 million. If he got three times EBITDA, that's 180 million. If they got five times EBITDA, that's 300 million. Does anybody believe that Visual Edge IT is going to sell for five times EBITDA? A, a non-performing IT services print company? And when I say non-performing, they're not performing enough to satisfy their debt. Do you honestly believe they're going to get five times earnings? And ladies and gentlemen, even if they did, they get $300 million minus the debt. In my mind, that's zero left. Because obviously, Aries Capital is going to grab a big portion of it. And then, you're going to have to pay their other debts. So I'm telling you, this is why when you take equity in lieu of pay or you take equity in lieu of bonuses, you better have a clear understanding of the financial condition of the company you're taking equity in. And you, be able to, you better be able to imagine the realities of the waterfall event. I get it. We all want to think about the great big waterfall event. Now, I'm sure that you've probably heard management discussing how the company's going to sell for a half a billion dollars. Maybe even a billion dollars. This is going to be the most successful IT services nationwide company on the planet. And we're going to knock it out of the park. But ladies and gentlemen, it's simple math. Buyers pay a percentage of EBITDA, and guess what? They don't pay off debt. That's included. I'm thinking Dex Imaging, Aries Capital, and Sycamore are probably going to work this out. We all know that Dex Imaging is owned by Sycamore Partners because Sycamore Partners own Staples. But folks, here's the deal. I'm thinking that Aries Capital doing a deal with Dex Imaging just makes the most sense. Because if you look at our industry, if you look at our space, no OEM is going to buy Visual Edge IT. The only other one that I even thought could even think about it would be Xerox, and I shared my thoughts on that in a previous episode. But at the end of the day, this company, Visual Edge, has got to be fixed. It's got to be cleaned up. And in order to do that, it's going to take someone that understands how to fix and clean stuff up. And I believe the Dex Imaging could do that. I believe the Doyles have a proven track record to do it, and they could do it. Because they got to go in there and they got to shut all the redundant offices. They got to get rid of all the management, probably. 
I mean, they could easily. And then pick the best people from the best teams and move forward. But at the end of the day, there's no way in the world that Aries Capital is going to allow Visual Edge IT to just sit there and have a loan and non accrual over and over and over and over and over and over, quarter and quarter. They got to make it, they got to do something. First, they're going to take the equity, then they're going to sell the company. Whether it's DEX or somebody else, it just makes sense that it's DEX. I kind of hope it is, because I think Dex could clean it up and fix it. And maybe the people that work at Visual Edge won't be so impacted. But there will be impacts, there's no doubt about it. And it's something our industry needs to address. Because everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and I'll see you all tomorrow.